In one year alone, more than 26,000 lionfish were removed from Florida waters by spear fishermen participating in lionfish tournaments. Most of these lionfish were from the shallow nearshore waters of Florida, but the real question is, how do you remove them from deep water? FWC scientists and fishermen are working together to find a way. I'm a commercial fisherman. I've been, uh, I've been doing that since 1977. And uh, my main fishery is uh, spiny lobster and stone crab. Uh, we started seeing them about 15 years ago, pretty intermittently in our traps. And maybe the main concentrations were on the ocean in water south of the reef in anywhere 90 to 125 foot. The first uh, round when we pull is that's usually when I'll see a lot of them in the deeper water. Lionfish are native to the Indo-Pacific and are thought to have been introduced to the Western Atlantic around the 1980s, and they started showing up in the Keys in 2009. Lionfish disrupt the Florida Keys marine ecosystem because of their skilled and efficient hunting habits, their ability to reproduce rapidly, and their lack of natural predators. Scuba divers are using spears, where permitted, to help keep lionfish populations under control. However, due to scuba diving depth limitations, divers are generally limited to water shallower than 130 feet. FWC scientists and Keys lobster fishermen have teamed up to modify wire lobster traps to help reduce the number of lionfish in deep water, while also minimizing the number of ecologically and commercially important species caught in the trap. So I do think it would be beneficial to design a trap uh, for catching lionfish in deep water, because I think that's where you're gonna wind up with the best catch, and um, that can help the problem, I guess. The goal is to catch lionfish, but not other species, in deep water where divers are less able to go. But first, we had to develop and test different trap modifications and find the most suitable lionfish trap. The market is there for the lionfish, the price is pretty good. Uh, I could definitely see it as a supplemental fishery. I do think there'd be a, a use for this trap in the current fishery, uh, in addition to uh, your regular lobster fishery. I don't know if a lot of boats could go out there, have a lot of lionfish traps, and each make a living at it. But as far as having one day of lion fishing, in addition to your lobster traps or your snapper fishing or whatever else you do, I could see that being something that could be valuable. FWC funded fishermen to help us test these lionfish traps. We tested different bait types, trap throat, and escape gap configurations. So far, our best trap design has a reduced throat opening that helps to exclude other larger fish species and can exclude legal sized lobsters. The trap also includes a medium sized vertically oriented escape gap so other fish are able to escape. We are testing our lionfish traps in action, within and among other lobster traps. They seem to catch pretty well, and uh, I thought there was uh, pretty much a minimal amount of bycatch. Um, and I was impressed by how the, uh, the live lionfish's bait, how they survive. They seem to do well. Of course, you could see the effects of the different size escape gaps on them, and how they caught better when you got over structure. In the management of the lobster fishery, we're under a uh, reduction program that's been going on since 1991. One of the goals of that program was to reduce the number of lobster traps, to reduce the environmental impact of traps in itself. So to add more traps, you know, and that would be a management issue that you'd have to see what would be acceptable. We hope this research is a step in the right direction toward removing lionfish from deep waters of the Florida Keys. If you would like more information on lionfish, please visit our website.